It is 943. Welcome back. New this morning, a scholarship honoring the memory of the Groveland Four will help a recent high school graduate pursue his dreams of going to college. Joining us this morning is Denkove Bryant. Denkove, good morning. It is good to see you this morning. How are you? Good morning. I am well, Danielle. How are you? I'm doing good, thank you. How do you feel that you won the scholarship? It is such a tremendous opportunity to not only win this scholarship, but also to be the first recipient in Lake County and the state of Florida to win the scholarship. It's been done in other places by the Robinson, Robinson House Foundation, but this is the first time they're actually doing it in Lake County where the uh, Groveland 4 incident happened. So it's just a tremendous honor. I'm looking at your graduation picture, sir. What school did you just graduate from? I just graduated from Leesburg High School. We graduated on Friday in a downpour monsoon. So it was definitely a memorable <laughs> experience to say the least. I know there's nothing like that. You go to graduation, you get a downpour, right? But then think about this, you get this scholarship. So that brought a little sunshine, I think, uh, to you. What did you know about Groveland 4? And I, and I, and I wanna ask that because how does getting this particular scholarship, especially as a man of color, how does that make you feel? Like I said, it's an honor. Um, I would known uh, about the Groveland Four, not as in depth as I thought I did. Uh, something that my dad has always taught me is to know your history, know where you've come from, to know where you're going. Um, as a man of color, it is a little bit harder to succeed in the world. And this scholarship is just one more tool on my path to success. And for that, I'm just so grateful to the Robinson, Robinson House Foundation and the Scholarship Committee for deciding to honor me with this award. Can we talk a little bit about that? You said as a man of color, it's a little harder to succeed in the world. Can you explain that a little bit more in terms of maybe some things that you have gone through or that you have seen? Certainly, something my dad has always told me is the scariest thing is an educated black man. And um, growing up in Leesburg, Lake County, it was always, sometimes I'd be walking through a store and kind of get a sideways glance or something. Um, <clears throat> I like to think that I've, not only not made race a barrier in my life to success, but I've just overcome whatever obstacle that was there. Um, I just finished serving as the student body president of Leesburg and also as the student advisor to the Lake County School Board and to the superintendent. So my path to, path to success was not um, as hard as those that came before me. So mm -hmm. it's certainly, yes, they're, they're I've had my own share of challenges and trials, but those that have come before me have made it so much easier for me and others like me to succeed. Where are you going to college? University of South Florida, go Bulls. Go Bulls, <laughs> USF, good for you. And what do you plan to do once you graduate college? I wanna go into government. Uh, something that I've realized in the last couple of years of my life is that there's no higher calling than service and serving others. And that's what I want to do with the rest of my life. And that's why I want to do government and um, po the politics of it. And very quickly, what advice would you give to other young men who may be wanting to pursue scholarships or may be wanting to pursue the kind of uh, career that you want to after college? What advice would you give them if they're experiencing some difficulties right now? Well, for the scholarships, apply, apply, apply. You can't you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So putting your name in uh, and on their on the scholarships committee's radar is certainly the number one thing, and do it. Uh, it it might not be easy. It might not be exactly what you expected, but you won't know unless you try. So you have to just try and keep pushing. All right, Dinko, can I take you home with me? <laughs> to give some advice. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, let's go. You are the best. Inco, congratulations. I know you're going to do wonderful things in this world. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Good luck to you. Amen.